It's my 26th AGU. AGU is my favorite convention every year. You all come just right around Christmas and we're festive as all get out. It's the only convention that thinks adults know whether they can drink and pay attention or not. Every other convention assumes that if you have a beer, your brain goes soft. But not the geophysicists. They think if you have a beer, you can still learn things. So they do. They come, they have a beer, they go talk to the poster sessions, they go host a poster session, they go back to class. It's uh, treating people like adults as opposed to uh, children. I'm all for it. I definitely think that there is a tighter link between geologists and beer and other scientists. I have discussed this actually with people from IBM and so forth, and all they can think about is geology and beer, and so other scientists are making those observations as well. Definitely the most beer consumed by geologists. I think because there's a, a acceptance in the community that it's okay to drink beer at meetings. I mean, we're at a we're at a professional meeting and they're serving us beer at four o'clock in the afternoon. I think th there's something that uh, uh, about the way that a lot of geologists are trained, where it becomes part of the culture that it, it's around a lot. Um, when you're doing field work or you're camping or you're uh, coming back from meetings or you've been hiking and collecting samples all day. It's, it's refreshing, it's available, it's inexpensive. You can take it camping with you because it comes in aluminum cans um, and it's tasty. Basically it's because we're out in the bush at a long period of time and um, we need to uh, quench our thirst and, and uh, it, just, it just comes natural. All right, here's the answer because we like free flow of information. And the ideas about in science is all about free flow of information. So science doesn't work when people keep secrets and don't share their data. So there, there's your answer. So what could be better to help with free flow of information? I've yeah. been to a few geology departments around the world. I think geologists. And most of them have a Friday beer. They need water to <laughs> beer, geologists. Yeah, it's just it's ingrained. That's true. <laughs> we just need it because when we're doing research, there's not much else going on out there in the field. You know, we're all hiking out there in the middle of nowhere. We're just kind of hanging out, and we need something to do at night. So we drink beer. Part of the, the thing with the earth sciences is that it's really, it's uh, not a totally exact science. There's some art involved too, so you have to be creative. So anything that helps you lose your inhibitions and become creative and and come up with ideas that then you can test rigorously, but you still have to have the ideas. And so in some of the sciences, I would say that they're more precise and you're more limited as to what the story is based on your data. But in the earth sciences, for the most part, we don't have enough information really to know everything we'd like to know about what's going on. So you have to fill in the gaps. And that means you've got to think outside the box and you've got to release your inhibitions and you've got, you know, here is one way to do that.